Sleep came late last night, and the morning I woke up early. Everything was the same as always, but the environment felt a bit cooler. The light of the sun seemed more strikingly warmer in contrast to the normal coolness of the air, and it was in general a very beautiful day. The reporting time for the first lecture is always nine, and so I had two hours before I could get into you know the medical college for the first time at 8:20. I got an apron that my father had picked up for me the last day. So. a simple white coat with the embroidment of a student of gmc nagpur on the left breast pocket that simple object that simple plain white coat uh, which meant not anything to me but a summer coat a few years back was now something which holds extraordinary value it was the 1st of august of 2018 where the first day of college was supposed to take place Uh, at the morning, uh, 25 minutes before the reporting time, I took my scooter and, uh, of course, wore the apron for the first time, and then drove from my home to GMC, which is around 10 minutes of drive, with a two-wheeler. As I was driving through, I had this sense of feeling, "Ki wow, this is something. This is the start of something new, something much bigger than what I had ever done." And this was a feeling of, uh, you know, when. we were younger our schools used to take us to picnics and the right before the moment the bus came to pick us up for the picnic that feeling of excitement the same feeling i had not felt in 2 years of my preparation was the one which i was feeling right now and it was magical as i was rushing through a moment happened which i distinctly remember when i was driving through uh, there are a lot of plants in the area of gmc so a shower of leaves and a few petals came from above i don't believe in god per se but i don't know it felt like showers of blessing uh, coming on top of my head the right turn was made and i was inside the big gate which said government medical college and hospital nagpur went straight ahead took a left and finally i saw the college building it was an honor to be there the first lecture was about to start in 10 minutes i still had the time with excitement i rushed towards my classroom uh, which was supposed to be an anatomy lecture hall and then i sat there with a bunch of people 100 people sitting in the same room for the first time about to embark upon a journey that is going to change their entire lives forever there is no coming back from this i did not know how my experience was going to be i was just going to take it slow well the first lecture was anatomy and in the first lecture we learned about the modifications of the deep fascia so how the deep fascia is modified into different things such as ligaments or tendons or everything else that was a moment when i realized okay this is going to be huge and this is going to be detailed and as i knew that my parents and my sister they both they everybody had told me ki anatomy is a difficult subject you would feel difficult while you were studying it i don't know why would people say things like that so anatomy was done it was a very you know mind blowing experience because the teacher that we had a uh, very nice teacher by the way so he used to take attendance not by calling roll numbers but by actually calling names so instead of hearing roll number 1 anuj he just said anuj and then i had to uh, raise my hand and stand up and say present sir that was something not found in tuition classes at all we just had to say roll numbers and sign a sheet so there's a huge difference between a tuition class and a medical college when you enter it uh subsequently uh, as you will find out in this series is that anatomy became one of my favorite and one of the most strongest subjects and we actually went on a quiz for anatomy a couple of quiz actually for anatomy so yeah the next lecture was of physiology so in physiology the sir came and all the basics questions were asked such as do you know what is a cell do you know what are different way mechanisms of homeostasis etc so very basic questions but still it, it felt exciting in the initially and one thing i would like to share is that the benches that we have on gmc are wooden with a foam covering on them and a cover over the top of them so initially it was very different to see ki we have benches which are lined up in the university format because in the tuition classes in the schools which are we have been it was all a linear uh, rows and column structure so that was also an amazing experience well, what to say about physiology uh, soon it had ended i was kind of feeling ki okay uh, 
let's let's see what happens next i was actually very very excited for the last part of the day that was actually dissection because i had heard that we get to dissect a human uh, cadaver and get to see all the different structures inside and of course any student would be interested to see that any bio students at least would be interested to see that so after physiology was done the next thing was a practical between 11 and 1 that is the biochemistry practical so the biochemistry practical uh, i got introduced for the first time to labs because here in nagpur uh, or basically in any place that you go 11th and 12th standard when you are attached to a coaching then they you know handle your 11th and 12th standard so you don't have to put much effort into it so uh, practical since a long time i had not entered a practical lab but this was the moment when i entered it and i could see all the reagents placed on one sides and uh, everybody had assigned uh, one particular table that table was supposed to be the table that they were going to have mine was the first one in the first column being row number one and subsequently everybody was given their part in particular tables so that was biochemistry practical in that the first practical i got introduced to a lot of teachers and trust me their impression of me for the first time was not the best but as you will get to know me at through the story time series you will see key things gradually changed and things gradually became better because we went for biochemistry quiz too and it was a very fun experience and i think the relationship that i have developed with those teachers is something which uh, i'm very very proud of okay so the first practical in biochem was basically orientation key we were told key what is different what is what is the subject all about and we were given that little bit of introductory speech that happens when we get inside any institution for the first time you know you're going to be doctors why do you want to be doctor etc all of that so the first practical that we got was how to calibrate a test tube so in a calibration of test tube you need to have your test tube and you need to have the markings on the test tube key this is 1 ml this is 1.52 etc so that was done and then came the part of the break so 1 to 2 is the break part as it was the first day of college of course i did not have many friends it was only a couple of people that i knew from my tuition class which were also in my batch so what i did was instead uh, i have my hospital which is just facing next to my college so I took my scooter from there I went to our hospital and in there uh, Papa mummy and me we all all the three of us had our lunch together so from one to two I went to the hospital it was for the very first day and as you'll catch on uh, nowadays I never ever go to the hospital I just uh, sit in the different spots in the around the college uh, from 12 to 1 now the lunch time is this and have lunch with my friends so with that being said after lunch was done i had to come back so it was two post lunch in the first day of college the excitement level was increasing as well as decreasing in the same time Ex increasing why because as the day was progressing i was coming closer and closer to the dissection part of the day and decreasing why because you have just had lunch and then you have to sit for a two to three theory class which is trust me very very impossible to do sometimes so the lecture is uh, physiology from 2 to 3 again and in physiology we were taught about different things i don't even remember maybe we were taught about the coagulation pathway maybe there's a big maybe so uh, yeah with with that the main part of the day came when we were introduced to dissection so basically what is happening is that uh, we have different floors for different departments so anatomy is on the ground floor so the dissection part is also on the ground floor and the anatomy lecture hall which we were placed at because we are the a batch um, was in the first floor so we had to come a floor downwards and go towards the dissection hall so my first experience with dissection well uh, let me tell you straight up i was afraid initially so let me tell you a bit about the dissection hall so imagine that this is the dissection hall and this is the corridor and there are two doors over here so one you can enter and uh, other one is only exclusively for teachers so this one is for teachers and from this you can enter so basically as i was walking from here i got a glimpse inside the room from the first teacher's exclusive door and what I saw was uh, kind of devastating for the first time. So inside the dissection hall, there are different places, different tables called as dissection tables on which cadavers are placed. The cadavers uh, have their hair removed and the bodies are lying supine. So here's a bunch of different cadavers in this and this column. And we are, when you're seeing from the door that is a narrow space, you're only being able to see the heads of the cadaver because your field of vision narrows down. So once I was passing through here, 
year and I looked over to this side the only thing that I could see was so many different heads or cadavers respect them and I was kind of shocked and excited ki wow this is uh, I don't think any college apart from medical colleges allow the student to have such kind of experience because I don't think engineering colleges will have something as astounding and as strange as experiencing this so with that uh, I passed from here and then entered from the second room inside the dissection hall so yeah what is my experience I looked on the other side and I saw all the different cadavers there were like 15 or 16 cadavers which are present over there and I was shocked I was completely shocked ki, wow this is going to be something different and this is going to be something amazing and I was completely ready ki, okay I will do some dissection today I did not know a thing about dissection on the first day I did not know anything about anatomy but I was excited ki, yes dissection karne will aaj. but that soon everything that excitement kind of came down and we we all were supposed to stand at this place on the uh, inside the dissection hall where the, where the cadavers are not there and sir used to call the roll numbers one by one and we were assigned a particular dissection table also called as a DT so of course being roll number one the roll numbers initially 14 15 16 till 16 roll number we were all placed in DT1 so that way every 200 of us the entire batch was shifted to dissection and all of us were given their dissection tables so mine was dissection table one and i shared the section table one with amazing batch mates which grew to be very very close friends to me so yeah that is the thing and you would expect you would do a lot of dissection today but uh, the first three dissection classes that we had we just had to sit next to a dissection table on the chairs and just observe the body and get normalized with the condition because of course it's very shocking and if you are thinking ki, it did anybody faint in your batch so i don't remember anybody fainting uh, not even once in the first day at least yeah that's the thing that uh, dissection is something which is just magical to experience and it is also very respectable activity that the person who has donated their body their body many people are uh, able to learn so that was dissection we sat there for two straight hours next to a cadaver just examining everything but gradually i got very used to it and dissection became one of the most practiced activities by me like i used to do some dissection every single dissection class that was about dissection and we were in shock and awe for the first two hours of dissection because it was just amazing man like if you're in the medical college then uh, i'm pretty sure you will have the same feelings as mine in the first time that you are entering the dissection hall anyways uh, there is no memory as great as dissection in any years of medical college i think not even watching operations this section is something phenomenal and it's only available in first year so that's why uh, government colleges are better because uh, uh, you know the thing is that in dissection table if the less number of people are present then the more personal attention the teacher can get and the more you can get to dissect the body so that is the reason that government medical colleges are great because in their dissection tables have less less amount of people and so if you are a neat aspirant strive really really hard and you can get into a gmc like mine or even aims or any other different college that you want to okay with that being said the day was at an end i had made a few friends with that ended my first day of college and and after that I drove back to my home and I shared the same exact experience as I was telling you to my parents and they were like okay we also had the same experience <laughs> so that's about it uh, for the first episode of story time I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you gained some value out of it if not value at least you got motivated for your target please hit the like button it really really means a lot uh, if you haven't really subscribed to our channel then please take a look at all the videos and if you do like them if you do think that they add value to people's lives and all of this hard work would uh, really pay off if you would hit the subscribe button so yeah thank you so much for watching once again and uh, as always stay safe stay healthy and stay happy until next time i'll see you soon